Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. It is a very, very rainy day here today at the homestead. Uh, we've got a light misty rain going out here right now. So uh, a couple things before we get into the topic. Um, I wanted to let you know I will be live streaming tonight at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about the situation over in Hong Kong with the uh, worst day of violence with the demonstrators. And uh, what we, what I think, we're gonna give. I'm gonna give you my opinion, and uh, what's going on, and uh, you know what the people of Hong Kong want and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna be talking about that tonight uh, at eight o'clock on a live stream tonight. Okay. So let's jump into this topic. The first 19 foods that you should be stockpiling for an SHTF situation or a, you know disaster, which is exactly the same thing. Okay. So what should you be stockpiling? So number one, guys, is going to be, well, water's always going to be number one. You should have water on hand. Uh, that's got to be the number one thing that you're going to have. Uh, water's going to be really, really important. So if you don't have good drinking water, uh, you know, you're going to be in big trouble really, really quickly. I've talked about it many times about the fact that you can get dysentery um, if you're drinking tainted water and if you get diarrhea and stuff like that. Um, you could dehydrate enough to the point where it'll kill you. Uh, in an SHTF situation, people are going to die from dysentery and those type of things. Okay. So the second thing we're going to have on this list is going to be beans. Uh, lots of protein in beans. So any kind of beans, realistically. And beans store really, really well. So, you know, uh, the more beans and stuff like that and, and stuff that you have set aside, it's a really good thing to do. Um, as you guys know, uh, anybody that's watched my channel for any length of time, I've got a ton of beans. <laughs> so um, beans are really, really good. Uh, like I said, lots, lots of protein with beans. All right. The next thing is going to be white rice. Um, why not brown rice? Brown rice will. It's it's got an oil in it, and uh, it will get rancid on you really quick. White rice stores very well, and there's a lot of carbs in in white rice. So and white rice will last indefinitely. Uh, if, if you've packed it away properly and stuff like that. Okay, so the next thing on this list is going to be canned vegetables. All right, it's a, it's a micronutrient. It's a good thing to add into your diet, again, uh, to have, you know, your canned vegetables and stuff like that. Now, the canned stuff is very, very important. The canned stuff will last well beyond the expiration date on the packaging. So years beyond, to be honest with you, okay? So the next thing is going to be is going to be canned fruit. Um, you definitely want to have canned fruit because it's uh, it's something sweet, you know. And then a lot of times it's in uh, corn syrup and stuff like that. And so it's a, it's a good energy boost. And uh, like I said, for uh, morale psychologically, it's going to be a really good thing to have. Okay. The next thing you're going to be wanting to have is canned meat. Uh, canning meat is probably the best way. So you can either have it in a can or canning. Either way is going to be good, okay? And uh, so it's, uh, it's the best way to keep meat. Having canned meat is the best way to keep meat, all right? So, and like I said, it's a, it's a good thing to have. Uh, the next thing we're going to have on this list is going to be salt. Uh, salt, you can use it for preserving foods. And plus, we need to have salt in our diet, so it's good for us to have that. So if you have salt put away, that's a really, really good thing as well. Uh, the next thing would be would be honey. Uh, honey's really good to have. It lasts forever. And again, there's another sweet thing. And if it's local honey, which we've talked, I've talked about that numerous times. Not store bought honey. Uh, pure local honey. It's going to have a lot of stuff that's going to help you uh, with your immunity system for locally. And and that's a really really good thing to have. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to have is uh, pasta products. So. Your angel hair pasta, your spaghetti, your regular spaghetti, um, you know, any, any of the elbow macaronis, all those type of stuff, okay? Uh, they're good for carbs, and uh, it's also a comfort food. Pasta is always going to be a comfort food, okay? So along with that, you're going to want to have spaghetti sauce. That's going to be the next thing on our list, the spaghetti sauce, all right? Uh, spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, you can mix that with anything, and uh, it's going to... You know, it's gonna it's gonna help with uh, the flavor of it. Like if you if you uh, have shot uh, a wild animal, 
and you're you know adding that meat into your meal with your pasta uh, you know with spaghetti sauce it's just you know it doesn't it's not gonna make it taste badly then all right so uh, the next thing is gonna be is jerky um, jerky is pure meat guys and there's a lot of salt in it as well and uh, it, it stores very well so uh, jerky is another thing that's a really really good thing to have uh, the next thing we're going to need to have on there is peanut butter again really good source of protein but it's also a comfort food as well I mean who doesn't like peanut butter if you don't like peanut butter something wrong with you now anyway but I'm, some people don't can't eat peanuts I know I'm just I'm just being sarcastic but uh, peanut butter is a really really good thing to have all right um, the next thing you're going to want to have is wheat flour. Wheat flour can be used for baking, uh, making bread, and it's a good source of carbs if you're using it to make bread and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, who doesn't like fresh bread? You know, so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, so after that, you're going to be looking at, you're going to want to have baking powder and baking soda, again, for baking purposes. So those are good things to have in your storage as well. So these are things, like I said, again, that you're going to want to, these are the first 19 things that you're really going to want to be putting away if you're looking to put together a, a diverse list of things for your food storage, okay? So the next thing we're going to want is bouillon cubes, guys. These are really important. It's going to, you know, with whatever you're making, the chicken, chicken bouillon cubes and uh, the beef bouillon cubes, it's going to change the texture, change the flavor of uh, of those of those foods and I think that's really really important that you have you know that as well especially with cooking you're gonna definitely want to change up that taste okay uh, the next thing is going to be whole wheat crackers uh, whole wheat crackers is you know they can be used as for a sandwich if you don't have bread and those type of things but uh, whole wheat crackers are a really good uh, source again to have um, you know as far as foods to, to stock away the next things would be um, trail mix, so nuts and trail mix. Now nuts, um, they don't have a super long shelf life, so you're definitely going to want to vacuum seal everything um, and when you put it away so it's going to help it preserve it so it lasts longer. But it's, it's a high energy food, um, you know, your, your trail mix and stuff like that. So it's a really good thing to have. And, uh, you know, and again, like throw in those um, M&Ms in there, it makes it all that much better. Uh, the next thing would be powdered milk. Definitely important to have powdered milk. Again, in an SHTF situation, if you're drinking water every single day, it's going to really get old really, really fast. So having um, the powdered milk is going to be a really good thing to, uh, you know, to have as far as that goes. Now, the last thing on this list that I have is multivitamins, guys. Really important to have different multivitamins to supplement what you're not getting in your diet because of the lack of the different choices of foods and stuff like that, okay? Now, there's a couple things that I would add onto that list um, just to, you know, for, for, um, for taste, okay? So one of the things I would definitely add onto the list, so I'm actually going to give you, not 19, I'm going to give you 20, 21, okay? So the 20th thing that I would add onto the list is spices. Uh, lots of different spices, vacuum seal them, put them away, really good to have to change that texture, change that flavor of that food. Um, it's going to make the world of difference when that time comes, especially if you have somebody in your group that knows how to cook and can cook really well. It's really, really important to have. The other thing that I would say to have in your, in your uh, long-term food storage is gravy mixes, okay? Uh, pork gravy, chicken gravy, beef gravy, lots of different types of the, and it comes in the packages and you can use that to, let, let's say, okay, so here's an example. I'm, I have a ton of rice. I mean, a ton of white rice packed away. And I couldn't even tell you how much it is all together, but it's a lot of white rice I have packed away. All right. If I'm eating white rice every single day and I'm not changing that texture of that white rice every single day, uh, I'm going to get really tired of eating white rice every day. With having the different gravy mixes, guys, or, um, you know, like taco seasoning mix, those type of things as well, if you're changing that flavor and how it tastes, psychologically it's not going to be as bad, okay? So the different gravy mixes I think are really, really important as well. Like I said, there's the pork gravy mix, the chicken gravy, the beef gravy, just to name a couple, all right? So if you have those different types of things, it's going to make all the difference in the world. 
So because today, as you can see, we're having a very rainy day here today at the homestead, uh, Mom and I decided to start working in the shop, which is a freaking disaster and a nightmare, okay? So uh, what we were doing, I'm just going to show you really quickly. Oh, oh, actually, I'll show you this real quick, too. I'll show you in here real quick, and I'll show you where we're at. Uh, let's see. We've pulled in 1.1 kilowatt hours on this side. We've pulled in 0.6 kilowatt hours on this side. So not a great day solar-wise. Uh, the other day we pulled in 1.5 when it was overcast all day. Now it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Uh, we're still pulling in power, but, uh, you know, it is it is what it is. You know, it's not a great day for solar, so these things happen. So we started, um, and it is a mess. I mean, it is a mess. Believe it or not, we've been in here for a while. Uh, cleaned out this corner of stuff. Got a lot of organizing to do. Uh, we were getting rid of some stuff. So we had a burning pile out here, and we were burning quite a bit of things. And uh, but it's just it's a, it's a, a mess in here, and I'm going to turn this around so you can see over here better. It's just a completely disorganized mess. So this whole area is we're supposed to have rain the next two days. So this whole area is going to be redone. Everything is going to be rearranged um, and changed, organized, and you know put together hopefully in a way that we can get things squared away. So, and here we, here's one of those preps guys that I was talking about that you should definitely have. All right, a little vodka, right? Good prep to have. Um, so, I can't even tell you how old that is. Um, I actually, that bottle of vodka uh, I got from my dad's house when he he before he died. Um, well, after he died, I should say. I got it out of his house after he died. And uh, he died before we moved up here. <laughs> so that's an old bottle of vodka. But it's not going to go bad, which is good. And it can be used, like I said, for uh, a disinfectant, for a painkiller, all those type of things. So, But anyway, so we're going to be working in here and working on this stuff. And it's going to be a complete pain in the behind, but it needs to be done, which is okay. But we're going to get it really, everything's going to get reorganized. And... Uh, so it's going to take some time, but we're going to get there. So anyway, guys, um, once again, I'm going to tell you really quickly, uh, Legacy decided to do a sale on us. And so that is um, that sale is going into the 8th, and it's on the 183 Mega Meal um, bucket. And so uh, 183 sample Mega Meal bucket, okay? And it's normally like 360 bucks. Right now it is at 228 so it's a 40% savings um, on that right now for you guys. If you are interested and you're looking to add to your long-term food storage, it's a great way to do it. Uh, it's a good, good, I mean, if you figure price-wise, you know, you're talking about 183 meals and it's 228 bucks. That's not that bad at all. So uh, I have it now available, obviously, on my website as well. And that sale will be running through the 8th. And so if you would like to take advantage of that, go over to PrepperNurse1.com. And definitely do that. Uh, so anyway, the other thing I want to mention really quickly, on the website at PrepperNurse1.com, we have the uh, PrepperNurse1 community. If you're looking to connect with like-minded people, if you're looking to, uh, you know, uh, talk with people, if you're looking to try to find people in your state or your country, if you're looking to try to form a group, it's a good resource uh, way to connect with like-minded people. A lot of good message boards on there as well, so definitely go and check that out, okay? So anyway, guys, that's what's going on, and, uh, you know, so that's where we're at. But uh, So anyway, I will see you guys tonight, 8 o'clock for the live stream, so please join us then. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important to tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Stay positive and you guys will be fine. I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.